Dominican Tobacco and Cigars. Any serious cigar amateur probably knows the Dominican Republic from the cigars. It is no secret that when Fidel took over Cuba, many prominent Cuban cigar families took their know-how and fine seeds to the DR. This infused more quality to an already tobacco-producing island. Today, the Dominican Republic is known throughout the world as a place where the cultivation and curing of tobacco and the manufacture of cigars is an art form. This soil is very special here. It's perfect for growing Cuban seed filler, says Hendrik Kellner, an owner of Tobaccos Dominicanos SA, which makes some especial cigar brands. He took his eye off the makeshift road for a few seconds and pointed to the rows of tobacco plants growing on the other side of one of the canals that crisscrossed the heart of the north-central Yak Valley, the prime tobacco growing region for the Dominican Republic. The luscious area is a subregion of the Sabao Valley, located in the northwest of the country. The Yak Valley is to the Dominican Republic what the Vuelta a Bayo is to Cuba. These two regions, separated by 500 miles of the Caribbean Sea, are two of the world's greatest locations for growing premium cigar tobacco, and this year, the harvest in both were some of the largest in recent memory. In the Dominican Republic, at least, the tobacco growers are extremely optimistic. Some quality tobacco is grown further west, but most tobacco experts agree that the best is located here. In addition, some cigar tobacco is cultivated south of the Yak Valley, Zone A. The largest plantings there are Connecticut leaf for Candela, or green-colored wrappers for General Cigar, the makers of Partagas and Macanudo, as well as machine-made cigars. Other small plantings in the south are primarily those of the Fuente family of Tobacalera e Fuente, which has a gorgeous premium wrapper tobacco plantation about two hours' drive south of Santiago, near the village of El Caribe. The Yak Valley is like a patchwork quilt of roughly paved roads and bumpy dirt tracks. Small farms pop up all over the valley, with sleepy villages and towns in between. Few cigar producers on the island make their blends according to the specific location where their tobacco has been grown. Of course, none of the cigar makers interviewed for this story would reveal what exactly went into their blends, which is a closely guarded secret. In fact, key employees from some well-known cigar makers are occasionally wooed away by competitors in hopes of gaining access to such secrets. Today, the Dominican Republic is known throughout the world as a place where the cultivation and curing of tobacco and the manufacture of cigars is an art form. Most hotels have a cigar market once a week when they invite cigar vendors to set up shop inside the hotel. Next time you visit the Dominican Republic, don't forget to enjoy a good Dominican cigar.